Hi, my name is Tony. I work for KRK Systems. Today we are here with the uh, KRK Ergo. This is a pretty neat little unit. Um, this is a room correction system that KRK has developed. And we are in a room uh, typical of what uh, maybe like a bedroom studio would be uh, drywall, carpet, some ceiling tile. Um, you can either go ahead and, and invest a lot of money in acoustical treatment or you can go ahead and get an ergo and see how that helps you. This is going to be a pretty good example of, of to show you what ergo can go ahead and do. After you install the ergo software, <clears throat> immediately ergo is going to want to throw you into ErgoCal. ErgoCal is the wizard that helps you shoot the room. Connecting the ergo to your system is pretty easy. You have the speaker outputs here and the calibration mic input right here. Um, you want to make sure that the calibration button is off at first. Um, ergo Cal will tell you when to turn it on. If you find that you don't have that much room in your studio, uh, set the speakers in the best possible position that's convenient for you, and ergo can go ahead and compensate for, for whatever shortcomings there might be. Ergo Cal uh, kind of holds your hand to the whole thing. It's a wizard. It's, it's meant to be pretty simple, so we can go ahead and go through this. Ergo is ready to measure your room. Great. Hit enter. Make sure that your speaker and calibration microphone are on, plugged in. They are. We checked that already. Are you using Ergo in subwoofer mode? No, I am not. I'm just using my two monitors. Uh, measurement A is selected here on the actual uh, hardware. Uh, it can store two memory registers. So we're going to go ahead and do A. Yes, this will overwrite uh, the existing A measurement. If you had a previous measurement in another room or something, it can only store one at a time. So we're going to hit yes or hit enter. It's clearing the measurement memory. So once the memory point is erased, uh, it's ready to continue calibrating. It says calibrate button is currently off. That's when you want to go reach around here. You want to uh, press the calibrate button. Calibrate uh, button is currently on. Great. Press enter. Volume is too high. Let's go ahead and turn that up. Volume is OK. So you turn it up until it says OK. Hit enter. The ergo call is going to ask you now to place the calibration microphone in the focus position or the, uh, the main listening position, and then hit enter. <clears throat> it's going to do the volume calibration. It's going gonna, it's gonna to tell you whether the volume is too high or too low. In this case, it's saying it's too low. We can go ahead and bring it up. Bring it up to an acceptable level that you're comfortable, and then just go ahead and hit the no button. And then it'll accept that volume. And then press enter. The ergo cal always asks you for the focus position as the first point of measurement. Um, once it's done, it's going to ask you for a second point of measurement, um, and a third, and a fourth, and as many as it takes up, up to when you get uh, past 90%, and then that'll be fine. It'll go ahead and tell you. Um, the second position could be anywhere. I would just go ahead and take the microphone and point it uh, just somewhere random at a corner of your room. Once it's done, it's going to tell you uh, that the data that it has compiled is complete. It has enough information to uh, get a 3D picture or a 3D image of your room. Ergol Cal will let you know when you're done with the measurement of, uh, of your room. Um, the system has enough data. Uh, it's also going to ask you to turn off the calibrate uh, button on the back of the Ergo. Um, that pretty much sums up the calibration portion or shooting a room with Ergo. You're ready to mix.